y'all, welcome back to Long Live Rock. Uh, just sitting here enjoying a, a blue beer tree and some coffee and uh, we're making up some videos to put up on the new channel. So um, thanks for dropping in. We're going to do a younger band out of England. They're called the Sundowners UK and it's particularly important to know that because there used to be another Sundowners band from the 60s and this is totally different music but when I say that we're going to travel back to the 1960s stylistically musically with this young man um, in my head when I first heard this I all of, I just went Fleetwood Mac kind of 1960s like 67 you know 68 whatever uh, just a range of sounds but anyway uh, these these, uh, this band is produced by James and Ian Skelly from The Coral. That's another band we're going to have to do some videos on that, uh, you know, that should be touring, you know, North America like crazy and, you know, drawing. Because they've got, a, a, they got one album that came out a few years back called Butterfly House. And that one there to me is, should be in the list of all-time classic you know, classic era style rock, but new. Anyways, uh, that's their debut uh, single. It's called Humminbird. And, uh, sorry, Hummingbird. I say Humminbird because that's uh, my sonar. Uh, well, you know, they always defer to that. So, and, oh, okay, well, there's a little thing here. Um, in, they're influenced by Tom Petty, I agree. Fleetwood Mac, The Birds, oh, yeah. Um, Paul Weller is... Uh, Paul Weller really likes them. He's from, he used to be uh, from the Jam, and uh, yeah. So and this came out in 2012. Okay, so it's not brand new, but uh, Boomers. I'll bet none of you or very few of you know this even exists. And uh, I don't know about the younger ones, but if they don't, well, they're going to know it now. Let's rock. Well, there you go. 
I mean, is that not 1967, 68? I mean, it's styled after the acid shroom, you know, psychedelics uh, years. Um, my father definitely was part of that back then. Uh, uh, my mother not so much. She was more into the weed and the joints. That was pretty much her thing. Uh, whiskey, beer, you know. But uh, no, Dad, uh, he was into all of it. He had a little well. And, uh, you know, when he discovered I had started doing it later, he didn't, you know, chastise or anything me, but he took me aside. And, like he says, I, uh, you're going to learn some shit so you don't end up killing yourself, you know. And uh, he did until this very day, uh, you know. Uh, I have always that thing going, okay, you know, I don't, now we don't have to buy from dealers anymore. We don't have to do any of that shit. And I don't do anything that, you know, I've done, I've done it all back in the 70s and 80s, and there's lots I don't do anymore. Anyways, let's forget all that. This music is just takes you back to that time, like an acid -y thing, and the sound. Uh, one thing I like about the drummer is he doesn't get in the way on this one because, uh, I mean, those guitars just layering and those beautiful voices. Um, so he, the drummer is reminding me a bit of Mick Fleetwood because Mick Fleetwood, you know, knows when to step back and just keep that big, dum, 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 you know, like, you know, keep that, uh, keep the band moving kind of thing. And uh, so, no, these, uh, these two young ladies are... Uh, you know, it's some. I mean, you even think of Heart, maybe. I, I don't think so, really. But, like, you know, I think of the Wilson sisters. But, no, they're nothing like them. But, anyways, uh, they do have newer stuff out. So, this is their first one. So, I thought I'd do this one. It's a short one. It's just under three minutes, which was typical on the AM radio back, uh, back in the day, eh? And this would have been on the AM radio, for sure. Summer song. Sounds very summery. You know, Beach Boise kind of thing. You know, Fleetwood Mac, whatever. So, <laughs> all right, everyone. Well, thanks for coming. Uh, if you like what you're seeing and everything, well, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, it helps me with the algorithms, they say. And uh, if you want to help donate to my channels, it's buymeacoffee.com slash lad from the woods. It's always appreciated. And uh, all my other information is at the end of the video. I also, uh, and I also do, well, I do Rumble and YouTube are the two that I put my videos on for now. And uh, yeah, so everyone uh, be cool, be lucky, and you got to be, you know, I got that wrong. Holy fuck, that blue haze. Um, I need a copy, kind of bring me around here. I'm going to play that song over again and just like float with it, you know. So, anyways, uh, yeah, be if you, be good. If you can't be good, well, then be good at being bad. All right? Long live rock. And these, this kid band, kitty young band, well, it's nine years ago, so they're not really young in the way. But, but anyway, um, they're far out in Ruby. <laughs> Talk to you after. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.